Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 7th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. And we're going to start right away here with space weather, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide, no major solar flares to talk about. No major plasma filament eruptions either, or coronal mass ejections. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, or sorry, incoming, with a little Earth to scale. Incoming sunspot regions, we do have a big Earth-facing coronal hole, which has already increased our solar winds up to over 600 kilometers per second. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, did see a couple events there, plasma shot, and as well a couple flares, I'm pretty sure, from those outgoing sunspot regions. Having a look at multi-spectrum here at the last 48 hours of major events, pointing them out, and as well active sunspot regions, and there's that big coronal hole. And that, if that is in an Earth-facing direction, is always set to increase our solar winds. Right now, we're peaked over 600 kilometers per second. 171 angstroms here. This is where we can really see our heliosphere in action on our sun. Amazing images. And right now, we have four sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. Two that are turning away. And then a quick look here at that big sunspot region that is Earth-facing right now. A little different look at our sun and its dynamics. Current space weather conditions, we are under a G1 a geomagnetic watch. Vi minor geomagnetic storm impacts are expected and are happening. Solar winds are coming in over 638 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux slightly elevated and we did just recently see a c-class solar flare as we we're watching that jump not quite in these images but just recently did hear about it geomagnetic activity calmed down a little bit having a look at our magnetosphere in action as the solar winds started pounding our planet over 600 kilometers per second Ooh, that, that is fast and then, boom, big blowout in our magnetosphere. So this is showing the last four hours as the event started to impact Earth. And that is thanks to that big blackened coronal hole on our sun. Amazing images here. And thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Having a look at our geospace magnetosphere, cut planes for pressure. This is showing the pressure that is on our planet. And we definitely did see an uptick on that today. ISWA space prediction spiral still only showing yesterday's CME taking off towards Venus. No new CMEs have been updated there. Same with the Space Weather Prediction Center. Nothing has changed since their diagram as well. Still only showing that large CME blast that impacted Earth from the 5th to the 7th. Another closer look at it here. Another closer look at that big CB blast. Plasma filament eruption from the other day. All right, let's have a look at Lasco 3, showing the last 48 hours of space weather taking off from our sun. Showing three CMEs taking off the last 48 hours. One, two, oh, three, uh, okay, four. The last 48 hours, but nothing major thwarted our way. Let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we're still quiet. Under 200 earthquakes, but we've got some interesting earthquakes here. Tibetan Plateau, 5.4 earthquake. Southern Xinjiang, China. Eight kilometer depth, multiple aftershocks through the region. Now, this is an area I find very pe peculiar for earthquakes. 4.1 there, Turkey, and as well, Greece, 4.5. 4.7 there, Port Blair, India. 
And then we get to Papua New Guinea, 5.4 is ringing out. And then our largest and deepest earthquake today, 5.6 earthquake, Pagan region, Northern Marianas Trench. 5.6 over 600 kilometer depth. 4.4 there, Japan, and as well as 4.4 Rat Islands, Alaska. Continual activity here at Hawaii. The magnitudes seem to be increasing over this past week, but not the numbers. 5.1 there, northern Peru. Pretty quiet through South American play right now. And then we get to Iceland. The famous Blue Lagoon area has been put on watch and possible evacuations could be in order as multiple earthquakes, hundreds of them throughout the last couple weeks, have been affecting the Blue Lagoon. So there could be a large eruption here at Iceland. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes. The Blue Lagoon is all that white there, but this is the stress region where we've seen the increasing activity. So heads up, Icelanders. Could have another volcano erupting in your area. Let's have a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Deepest earthquake the last seven days was today. Over 630 kilometer depth, Marianas Trench, 5.6 earthquake, which was also the largest magnitude earthquake we saw today. Quick browse here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Notable across the North American plate, way too quiet. In my mind, still. Something's got to give here soon. Heads up, the ring of fire. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast as we still have lots of SO2 coming from our Puff Puff Pass volcanoes in Kamchatka, passing all that nasty air quality eastward into North America and even further eastward over into Europe. Forecast models showing quite a bit of SO2 from the last few eruptions from the multiple erupting volcanoes at Kamchatka, eastern Russia. I mean, it looks nothing like the southern hemisphere. We've definitely seen an active volcano in Russia this past week. Now let's get to weather here as we have a big low affecting eastern Canada swept through Ontario yesterday. Cold temperatures are set to come in behind as an Alberta clipper here forms. Even through Regina and Manitoba, Saskatchewan, they had some snow last night and that will continue to move eastward. And then a big high pressure ridge moves in, keeps us dry for about four or five days through eastern parts. And then a big low sweeps down the west coast affecting California and as well intense weather developing through the Gulf states. Having a look at that low, it will be making landfall 15th to the 16th of November, heavy rain, strong winds, and probably a lot of heavy snow as well. Carrying on here, overlooking Africa and Europe and most of Russia. Could see some pretty intense weather this week through the Mediterranean as these multiple lows still are pounding the coastline. Ireland, the United Kingdom, France, Spain. Mediterranean could see some pretty nasty weather moving through there. So heads up. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. No major typhoons developing equatorial regions. Multiple lows lingering around Australia this week. One of them finally lets loose and heads eastward. Southeastward. Towards New Zealand. But you're going to see quite an electrifying event over this next week with those multiple lows spinning around. Getting ready for summer down there, down under. Let's have a look over the North Pacific, looking at major systems coming towards the West Coast and Alaska. Some intense weather there and probably a lot of heavy snow and then a big low in the long range heading up into the Bering Strait. And as well, a couple major systems there developing in the long range. 
Now let's have a look at our upper level wins again as I showed these yesterday and I only showed in comparison last year to this year. But we're going to go back. This is 2020. And now 2020. And now 2020. And now. So big difference here. Let's go back even further. Or sorry, that was 2021. This is 2020. Just some major upper level wind velocity that has continued across the equator. There's quite a difference. And I've gone back all the way as far as Null School has started documenting these winds. And it has never looked like this. Even back 2016. So big changes are evident in our atmosphere. Big changes are evident in crustal displacement and volcanic activity. We've seen the increases. I've been documenting them now for six years on YouTube. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this journey. Thank you for subscribing. I got about 150 new subscribers overnight. Welcome to the family. Hashtag no fear here. Hashtag do crew. D-E-W do crew. Again, welcome to the channel. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your love and your comments. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.